my name is Aaron Collins, Enterprise Engagement Manager for Tridge, and today I'll be taking you through the Intelligence and Data tab of our platform. The Intelligence and Data tab is also known as the Market Intelligence part of the Tridge platform. It's the most comprehensive way to trade smarter by using data and information to make better, more informed decisions. You can use this part of the platform to track global prices, understand trade data, get tactical qualitative updates, and also have more in-depth analysis of the data using the Tridge reports and market guides in the market study section. I'll take you through each of the features, giving a brief insight into how they work and a little bit of what's behind them. And I hope that by the end of this, you'll have a slightly better understanding of how intelligence and data might be able to help you make your next decision your smartest one yet. Let's start with the market updates. This section is comprised of local news, local insights, and Tridge analysis. Real-time, dynamic information and data updated on a daily basis to give tactical information to our population so that they can make a reactive decision based on this information. Our local news is very similar to that of Bloomberg Terminal in the sense that we curate over 650 trusted local sources in more than 90 countries, triggering keywords that may not be displayed in your domestic Google search. This means you can have access to news from around the world, agriculture and food related, using keywords which you can type into the search bar here based on a product, or searching the advanced filters to look at countries, categories, issues, or subjects. Our local insights are contributed to by our 130 engagement managers in over 50 different countries who are giving insight to anything informative, which is non-confidential, gathered from around the 2,000 conversations they're having on a daily basis with industry insiders, key decision makers, and points of contact. Lastly, our Tridge analysis section within the market updates or the qualitative part of the platform provides implications of market trends and actionable advice, which is contributed to by our global market analysts. They're able to write two or three page stories on a particular product or a particular topic, which contains some form of actionable advice, i.e. a price implication. These are longer than a local insight, but shorter than a full-blown Tridge report. The combination of these three gives our population the ability to make real-time decisions on updates that matter, and you're also able to search through any of these sections using the search bar via product, or as previously mentioned, filter by category, issue, subject, or country. The market studies section is quantitative by nature and includes data analysis, Tridge reports, and market guides. As previously mentioned, you can search through these using the search bar for a particular product or the advanced filters to search via country. Data analysis is essentially the opposite of peer-to-peer -peer market intelligence. So for instance, what you might see in a local insight would be from on the ground, in the country of origin, from a grower, trader, or maybe even contributed to by our own engagement manager in their own words on what they're seeing on the ground. Data analysis would be the opposite of this. Instead of a local insight saying, the price of X product has gone up due to heavy rainfall affecting the harvest, which has affected the yield, which has therefore affected the price, data analysis would be the opposite. We would run our internally held data, including trade, production, domestic price, through quantitative models. And based on the outcomes of those models, our global market analysts would then give the context to why we think we're seeing an anomaly a changing demand landscape, or anything else of particular note, which we can give two or three pages worth of context to. To be clear, instead of my buyer or supplier told me, this is, we are seeing this happen within the data. Tridge reports are a comprehensive and detailed report, usually containing 30 to 40 pages on a particular product, topic, or issue. They cover everything from market dynamics, production, 
as well as trade data. Our market guides are detailed guides, encyclopedic in nature, containing Q&As on many different products and markets, from logistics to importing to product specifics. Our market data contains domestic price, trade data, production data, and seasonality. Our domestic price tool is a way of tracking global prices using the wholesale markets and gathering prices from over 85 countries, 12,000 market regions, and 5,000 different varieties. Within this tool, there'd be over 300 million price data points. We don't subscribe to an export price as this is not a quantitative input, as there has to be huge context held. We subscribe to a domestic wholesale price as it is the most uniform way of gathering prices by partnering with ministries of agriculture and departments of food and agriculture to get real-time updated wholesale prices. You would then add to trade costs, including logistics, onto the origin market and take them away from the destination market. We build our own collections or curations, and we also have a chart tool where you can build your own. If we have a little look at one of the curations here, we can have a look at tomato wholesale prices in Colombia by different regions, and this would be shown on the chart tool itself for a visual aid of what's going on with the prices, i.e. price spikes and anomalies, and also market insights and local news. You can then view the chart data as well as the chart information by flicking between the two to get a better understanding of how the price is developing. To be clear, these prices can be downloaded, shared as a JPEG, and converted back to the original currency or original unit. And you can also build your own collections by simply click, clicking add price and then searching for a keyword, a particular product, a particular country, which would be the market it's being transacted in, or a particular origin country, which would be the market which it came from. Once you add these prices, you can then save them as a collection based on product, based on region, based on other attributes like size, packaging, even grade. You can also view the first reported date and also the last reported date. Trade data comes directly from UN Comtrade, the most uniform way of reporting trade data from individual countries and is based on a HS code system. Simply select the two countries you want to look at a relationship between, select a single country as an exporter or importer, and also choose who you want the reporter to be to validate data based on what one country is saying they exported and another is saying they imported. If we select a product, we can actually click through and look at the subsections of each HS code, or we can simply type in a product such as basil, or let's use tomato, to have a deeper dive into the trade data itself. We can see a trade overview, the total trade value and trade flow. We can select the years we want to view the data between, the top products exported between the countries, the growth value, trade indicators, the trade data by countries and value, and get a better understanding of where our product's going, potential other established supply chains, and start to better analyze how to build a strategic plan, whether we, whether we are a supplier or a buyer. Within the trade data section, we also have tariff data, and if looking at a relationship between two countries or one country singularly, we're also able to view any current tariffs based on UN Comtrade records that exist for a particular product within its HS code. If we choose tomato, from the Netherlands, we can start to look at the different tariffs which exist. We can also look at the trade agreements also. We also have production data. This comes directly from UN FAO, 
We can look at world production of products from all over the globe. If we select a particular product, in this case wheat, we can start to explore the data or choose a particular country of interest. We can look at it as a visualization or the raw data itself, and we can switch between volume and price. View as a tree map, world map, or bar chart, and actually click into the data to get a further understanding of exactly what's going on with world production of food and agriculture. Lastly, we have our seasonality data, whereby we're able to view the seasonality, not just on a macro country level, but we're also able to, where applicable, break it down by region. For instance, if the production is moving from the north to the south of a country, where applicable, we would cover this within our regional. For instance, we can see with fresh onion, we can start to see how the seasonality within Egypt is actually broken down. We can view seasonality of products we're following, which would have been already selected on our homepage or dashboard. We can also view products which are currently in season and also products of upcoming season. As explained earlier, we can filter by a particular country. We can view all seasonality. We can view upcoming seasonality within one month or currently within season. We can use this to spot opportunities for growth in supply chains, for supply chain flexibility, and looking at other regions of import, other countries of import, or potentially where we might want to place our products for export.